front and back, trying to save the paper there. Save the tree. Save the tree. I'm, I'm coming up here for some clarification, and uh, maybe I don't understand, but a client of mine brought me a copy of the new business license application, which comes out every year, and I will say this is the first year that it's been out in three years before late December, so that's a huge improvement itself right there. But on this business license this time, uh, and I've got it on here for you. You can see they've got on here that says all accounts are required to pay a $20 administrative fee. And uh, the best I can understand, and I've given you a copy of the, the regs or the codes that I found on Unicode, uh, uh, you don't pay this administrative fee unless you're late or unless it's an initial setup. And, and that's what the rules say here. But the license uh, application that everybody got says that everybody, everybody's required to pay this $20 administrative fee. And I, I, I think that's in error. And I, I think we need to clarify that. I think, um, you know, a lot of people don't even like paying the business license much chat less having to pay another $20 now on top of it. So I, I think that needs to be looked into. The other thing is, it has on there that they still accept cash, and I, I have to question you gentlemen, why we still accept cash in any county office, I don't know. Everybody should either bring in a check, or maybe y'all start looking into debit cards or something, but uh, accepting cash is what got us in trouble, has gotten us in quite a bit of trouble so far this year, and I think that's something. The other thing on the uh, thing, now they want a copy of your driver's license. I have to ask why. Why would you need a copy of a driver's license for the business license? I always, there's too much identity theft now as it is, and I don't think we need to go around gathering people's personal information on a business license other than uh, what needs to be on there. And based, again, on what these codes say, all you have to do is to attest to the number of employees you have in your business to get a business license. So I do know there's an e-verify now that the state requires, but I do not believe we have to turn in a copy of a driver's license and that kind of thing. So we all know that a business license isn't really anything much more than just a revenue raising thing. It, it, it's not like they go out and inspect your business or anything like that. So. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to look into that. If I'm wrong about that, then so be it. But um, uh, I know in the past uh, there has not been a $20 administrative fee that you had to pay with your license. The other thing is if you have any questions when you're doing your substandard housing, if you, I talk to some people in Butts County if you're interested in that. Thank you very much. <laughs>